Hello everyone, this is Paul with Jones and Four Tools, live from the JFT studio. Today, we are reviewing the Klein Tool Infrared Thermometer. All right, let's take a closer look. What does it say? The IR1, 10 to one ratio, temperature range four, minus four to 752 degrees Fahrenheit, right? Let's take a look at her Klein tools. There you go. Well, let's see if you can see that. But, um, so let's take a look. My, my son actually bought this, uh, bought it from Amazon. We got it in the other day. Um, I'm trying to remember what he paid for it. Some, something like $29, 30 bucks. I don't know. And, uh, and I, and I told him, I says, you know, um, I bought this one a while back. Uh, it's the Ames uh, infrared uh, thermometer from Harbor Freight. And uh, I got this on sale, I think like 17 bucks. And, and it's been great for me. I, I says, why don't you just buy that and save, you know, 15, 20 bucks? He's like, no, I want Klein. And I'm like, yeah, okay. You know, Klein's a great tool company. Um, but I didn't really see why you know this is one of those tools you don't have to buy the name brand and that's why i got this one but anyway let's compare the two okay so we're going to do a head-to-head -head. um i'm going to squeeze the trigger on both of them okay okay there's the two lights all right on the klein it says 65.5 .5, and uh the aims is 66.8 so they're about a degree off. Um, you know, they, they both had, all right, so let's try it again. All right, 66.9, 65.8. So it's, all right, 66.7, 67. All right, so, you know, they're, they're close enough. You don't, I mean, you don't have to be perfect with these. Um, but the thing about, about the Klein it's all I can do, you know, I squeeze the trigger, bam, it, it shoots, it's the temperature. Uh, but it it don't give me no information. It does let me know the battery life. So that's one good thing. Um, but here's the Ames. Uh, so the Ames gives you a lot more information and it has gives you different buttons to do different things. Um, like for instance, right now this is on Fahrenheit. But I could change it to Celsius. Okay. All right. But of course we live, we don't live in a metric world. Um, and, and here you can even shut off the red light. So now I'm going to squeeze the trigger and it still change, changes the, the thing. But you know, when you squeeze the trigger, but I just turned the laser beam on again. You see that light up there, that triangle. I'm gonna turn it off. All right. Same as somewhere else. Um, but so the Ames just give you a few other features, but <coughs> but to save fifteen dollars, um, I think I would have went with the Ames. Um, the you have a bigger screen on Ames, but on this it's backlit, so. That's one plus about um, uh, the Klein compared to the Ames. The backlit, the battery life indicator. But here you got a few other functions and it's a larger screen. Um, as far as quality, you know, they feel about the same. They feel about the same weight. Um, so anyway, uh, it's up to you, you know, what you guys get. Um, but I got no problem with the Ames. Um, and the Klein's fine, but I wouldn't have spent the extra money. Now, the other tools of Klein, I, I totally understand why people buy them. As a matter of fact, I have a couple of pliers that I'm getting ready to review here in the near future. So, uh, so we'll talk more about Klein. But anyway, if you like this type of content, do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Um, like the video. And let us know what you think of the Klein infrared uh, um, 
monitor and and what you think of the aims and which one would you buy would you save money and get a little bit more features or would you get the name brand anyway it's up to you um but it's just a quick look at them and uh here at johnson for tools we value your time and we want to thank you for spending a little bit of your day with us and we look forward to seeing you on our next video have a good day